Hey everyone, it's Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. Today we are gonna go through something quite unique in terms of its requirements. So I put out a video not too long ago around averages per day. So how do you work out average per, averages per day? So for instance, uh, we, we've got, uh, we're selling products. We might wanna say, well, on average per day, how many products do we actually sell? And it's pretty simple and effective calculation. You put it into your model uh, via a measure uh, and uh, you can very quickly be able to see uh, what you sell per day, not only from a product perspective, but you could also say, okay, well, uh, for a, say, a retail site or, or a particular region that we sell in, <clears throat> uh, we could also look at the average sale per day we make there too. Um, so it's a really, uh, really adaptable calculation. But what if you need to get more specific? So I saw this uh, comments a couple of times uh, where people are like, well, we only sell during a week a day. And so if you actually work out an average per day across a seven day week, then that's actually gonna lower the average because Saturday and Sunday is actually gonna be registered as a zero. <laughs> and obviously then that, that calculation is gonna be, you know, it's not gonna be as precise as it needs to be. Um, it's going to be almost incorrect. So what we need to do, what we need to do is we need to actually, we need to actually calculate the averages per week a day. And so we need to adjust, if you think about it, we need to adjust the date table that is iterated over so that instead of iterating over every single day, it actually iterates only over five days, Monday through to Friday. So I'm gonna show you how we can actually write the formula to achieve that. So I'm just gonna write average, um, average sales per weekday here. And I'm just gonna jump down to a new line here. And I'm gonna use variables because I always like to use variables where I can, it simplifies things a lot. And I'm going to uh, call this the weekday table. And what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put I'm going to put a table inside of this variable by using filter, and so I'm going to go uh, dates here. I'm going to go iterate through the days through the dates, and then there's a column in my date table which actually represents the day in a week. So a good date table is actually really key here. So I'm going to find it. I'm going to find day in week, and Saturday is actually number six, and then I'm going to say well if it's also the day of Sunday which in my date table is actually zero, then include it, So or don't include it, so exclude it, right? So this is actually going to be a, um, actually we need to go, we need to go does not equal in this case. So we need to equal, we only want a dates table that includes Monday to Friday, and this excludes the weekend, obviously. So once we have this uh, table inside our variable, we can then integrate this into our calculations. So I'm just going to go. Uh, I'm going to go return, which rounds off um, the variable and enables us to write our calculation. And then I'm going to go average x. I'm going to use the same pattern, exactly the same pattern as we used um, last time. And I'm going to go my weekday table in here. And then I'm going to go total sales. And then that's it. So instead of iterating through every single day, we are now iterating through every single day or weekday. So every single day in a calendar week. So if I push enter, and then we can create another visualization here now with our weekday total. And what's pretty cool, what's pretty cool is that we could, in theory, actually compare these as well, for example. We could compare this uh, this one to, to this, uh, layer, layer it on top of each other, so I could actually put it into the same visualization. And again, uh, also we could, um, you know, say, say you actually, you could reuse this technique multiple different ways, right? Because say we are actually looking at um, the average sales um, per, per week day here, per, uh, against per day, which is almost pretty irrelevant, right? So, um, especially if you don't, um, uh, well, it, you know, it, it, it might be relevant if you're selling every day of the week, but in some cases it's not. But what if we wanted to do this? What if you did actually sell every day of the week and you wanted to compare, well, how much do you sell on a weekday versus the average sale on a weekend? And you want to see the difference. So that's a good uh, a good, um, a good thing to analyze. So I'm just going to, instead of weekday, I'm going to copy and paste this and I'm actually going to change this to equals and go enter, and then I'm gonna change this visualization here. Instead of um, comparing the average sales per day to weekday, I'm gonna I'm gonna compare weekday to weekend and see what that's like.
And I just realized that instead of and here, we actually need to go or, so we'll go or, and then that gives us actually the difference. And we can go, what we can do is we can even branch out even further because to me, this is relatively busy, right? It's probably not, uh, we probably don't want every single iteration or we don't want to see um, uh, one versus the other, we might actually want to see the difference, right? So what we can do is branch out into another measure and I'm going to go average uh, average sales, uh, what I'm going to call this um, average sales difference. I'm going to go average sales weekday minus average sales weekend. And then now per product, we can actually see, we can actually see the, uh, the difference between the two. And so this is some really, really cool insight, right? Really cool insight. You can see, well, obviously these products sell way better than these products, say on, on a weekday, for example. So, so easy and quick to get to that insight, right? It's seriously, seriously awesome what you can achieve with DAX. Um, and and this is a this is a really really good progression from what we what what I've uh, showcased in a prior video where instead of actually iterating through every single uh, row in a table you can change the shape of that table virtually and then iterate um, through that. So if you want to actually uh, access this uh, this this um, this reusable pattern, you know, just copy and paste it into your own. Um, your own environments you can through enterprise DNA TV resources so check out the link in the description uh, within that resource you've obviously you also have access to the date table which makes this makes this work so there's heaps of um, heaps of good stuff you can find there not only through this video but other other um, uh, other training vids um, through enterprise DNA TV so definitely check it out don't forget to subscribe uh, and like this video really appreciate it um, watch out for for fresh new content on power bi every weekday from enterprise dna tv and if you're subscribed obviously you're going to get that fresh in your um fresh on your uh, youtube uh, your youtube uh, page uh, when you log in so um, so don't forget to do that and uh, thanks again for for watching and hopefully you can um, you know you can find use for this in, in your on your own data in your own environment so all the best and uh, speak to you soon Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like, it really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, Check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.